This one. Here today with Vince Shepley in the studio debuting a new band coming soon to a venue near you. Stone Luck, an indie original band with high energy and electric vibe with incredible sound that will separate the rest from the best. Thanks for having me in your studio. And now, how do you get this name, Stone Luck? Tell us briefly a history of your band and how you met. Well, Stone Luck. So you know the song Stone in Love by Journey? Yes. It means to go wholeheartedly, just to go 100%. So stone is 100% all in. That's what stone means. And luck is pretty obvious, just fortunate, lucky. So we're 100% lucky. It's just a cool name. Stone yeah. luck. Stone luck, man. That's how we got it. So yeah. what about your insignia? What would you use as a, like your mascot? or? You know, our mascot is actually going to be an angel offering a guitar to the gods. Oh really? Yeah, it's got you know my daughter's a graphic artist and she's doing all that kind of stuff for us. She's really hooked in. So yeah, that is really good. Forward to it. Keep it in the family. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Thank That's you. Cool. Thank so uh, yeah. Hey, and I want to thank you, John, for your uh, continual uh, propul you know your propulsion of the Windsor music scene, the local yes, music the scene. In the the independent, independent the music scene. The Dippalooza music experience. Exactly. I thank you yep. for having both the uh, both times. Yeah. Bad Habit, Bad original habit, band. Original band, yeah. Yes, I thank you uh, so much for that. And uh, well, you've supported local music. Uh, yes. Amazingly, yes. Over many the years. of our local artists. Yeah. I did exactly. interviews on my radio station and and podcast uh, on YouTube. Right. Um, a lot of local various artists like yeah. Dale Demore. They just uh, oh, great guitar hit. player. Man. Oh my God, that guy! Yeah, that guy's been a rock and roll man. He, knows man. It. he, knows he kicks scene. out the jams. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they just debuted him on Channel Two News. So he wow. Had the oh, Detroit that's right area. too. I just saw yes. that. Yes, I think yes. I saw that. I had an interview. With yeah, too. nice. So, uh, but you know what? That's what supports the music scene here, and that's what propels it. Alexandro yeah. Rotundi. Oh, a million hits on player, Spotify. Man. I did an interview yeah. with him. And now, Vince Shepley with Thanks, a man. new upcoming indie that I'd like to host my band and your band That'd one day awesome. Uh, awesome. in a venue near you. So anyways, uh, yeah. what's your main theme when writing a song and who's your major influences when you have this? You know, we don't really have a main theme. There's input coming in from everybody. The guys, you know, Joe Morovic, he's a well-known awesome. player in the city. Uh, you know, drummer. top, top shelf drummer. In um, the pocket. In the pocket, exactly. Ricardo Santia, you know, if you can get him to stop bouncing around. Oh, yeah, um, he's on the And talk to him. Bass he's a great bass master. player. Yeah, he's, he's phenomenal on the bass. And we got a new guy, Tom Watson, uh, new lead vocalist, unknown, independent guy, writes his own music, phenomenal singer. He's a he's a cross between Ronnie James Dio, God rest his soul, and and Sammy Hagar, and he's got a little bit of Chris Cornell in him. Wow! So a real good blend, and the guy the guy's all power and very humble. So wow! Good guy that's a flavor, man. Uh, so our our influences, I mean, music. So we write our own songs, of course, uh, you know, original music, independent, whatnot. We produce it here in the studio ourselves, with input from others, of course. Um, but but our uh, our influences, I mean. I mean, of course, some of the local guys like Brian Danner, Mark Braddock, Tees, yes. um, awesome. Ashes of Soma are some good guys. That played in this, actually recorded. And they're, uh, yeah, they've done some in stuff. In your studio, exactly, yes. Exactly. So those guys are phenomenal. Um, we, you know, we listen to everything, uh, you know, uh, guitar players. Who do I listen to? I mean, come on, Eddie Van Halen, uh, Jimmy Page, uh, Nigel Tufnell is another really good player. So yeah, those are some of the influences. And excellent, excellent. Uh, and, and and as far as writing songs, we collaborate all the time. All three yes, of us, yeah, all four of us are always. What was it? Input. What I'm trying to say is, uh, where do you get it? Like from from natural things that happen in your life. A, yeah, you a know, candid moment. Yeah, it's it's about yeah. life. Um, I don't know. Uh, I was born in Detroit, Michigan, in the backseat of a '65 Cadillac. Uh, I was grew up raised in Detroit until I was five and moved over to Windsor, but the street I was born on was Sorrento. I wrote a song called Sorrento, just about what happened when I was born. You know, exactly. Kind of, it's that stuff so that influences or inspires. Every picture tells a story. Don't it? Every story has a picture. That's right. Right? That's in right. your mind. Yeah. But, uh, Thanks, brother. Yeah. 
Be, describe your show visually and musically in your words. In our words. Like, like when you get up stage, are you gonna lights or are you yep. just gonna yep. play? Um, you know what? I know the uh, the a lot of the places su supply their lights. Right. Right. You yeah. know, you go to backstage. Yeah. You yeah. Know, they have their lighting show. But would you add anything? What would your theme be like? Okay. No. Good. Good question. Um, and lightings and yeah. light bolts and <laughs> like whatever. Lasers, I like whatever that lasers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Smoke uh, machines. Uh, uh, what else? So, you know what? We want to have stuff, aside from our music set us apart, but, you know, the look of a band and the appearance and the vibe of the band is everything. Yes. I'll let you hear some of our stuff we're recording later, but, awesome. um, it, you know, it's really about the look, the feel, the vibe. And I've always strived to be professional, over the top. You know, hey, I'm not the level of Kiss over the top, you know, with the everything blowing up on stage. But I think the audience deserves it. They need a visual, something to look at, aside from our good-looking faces, pun intended. But it's it's really about the, the audience and connecting with the audience and, and driving a story through visual. So I would say, yeah, lots of lights. Um, you know, we've got some special effects that we're going to bring forward that we're kind of keeping under wrap. Uh, some just custom made things for our band. Um, you know, we, we, we go all out with marketing, picks, shirts, uh, everything we can think of to market the band. So we're gonna try to set ourselves up uh, for success, you know? Okay, uh, what gender of music do you consider your work from? The genre of music is probably, I would say, uh, oh, got it, it's gonna be Crash. No. no, Crash Bang Thug Rock, man. It's going to be Crash rock. Bang Thug Rock exactly. in the house. <laughs> exactly. So we're... we're I never heard that. That's Crash Bang one. Thug, man. We are Crash metal. Bang Thug. Crash Bang Thug. We are Crash Bang Thug. I'd say metal, rock, you know, a little bit of pop, top oh, 40. Interesting. It's weird. It's melodic, but it's heavy. And then there's other stuff that is completely melodic and soft. So it's... Uh, you had an intro, a small intro that you sent me through Messenger had a lot of electricity to it. Yeah. That's why I asked that question. Oh. How do you see yourself visually? That's yeah. why I threw it electric. Interesting. Isn't Thanks, it? man. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Who, did you do that? Yeah. We. That's the kind of stuff I want to do to help set us up for success down the road. I want to help. Yeah. I there you go. I'll give you ideas. Again. I want to learn through you. From, from me. We're here, buddy. We're share, here. Share wisdom, man. Right. heard it from him. All right. Uh, what got you into a new band and what formulated into independent music instead of cover songs? Good question. Um, well, like every other band, we put it down for a couple of years uh, through COVID, uh, through all that craziness. And now that we're on the backside of that, hopefully, um, we, bad habit, uh, as they say, it jumped the shark. We were doing originals and then we slowly got into covers again uh, just to start to play and it, we kind of went stagnant, I guess. And you know, all things come to an end. All good things come to an end. It was time to change. And Joe and myself kept writing. We never stopped through COVID for the three, two and a half years. We kept writing. Ricardo took a break. Uh, we came back together again. Uh, and we were always on the hunt for a singer, you know, looking, looking for a potential guy out there. Um, but uh, it, it all came together in the end. And here we are with Stone Luck. Uh, speaking of pros and cons, speaking as original artists as I am, because I have originals too, original band yep. too, and now I just started uh, a new band with Bad DNA. Uh, he's got uh, a little bit of flavor, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I still got plug and play members. Whoever shows up, that's yeah. plug and play. That's yeah. uh, that's not a band; it's an event. Just show up and play. I like that. And then uh, that's all good. Yeah, very good, very cool. I lost the train of thought there, but. Uh, it happens to the best of us. It's all good. What is your ultimate direction of the band seeking fame or fortune? Well, we're not in it for the money, brother. Nobody is. For no. the fun. For the passion. We're in for the fun. The um, fun. So The you know, girls, man. The drinks, man. Mm -hmm. The long nights. The rock and roll. Now we're, no, you just know, kidding. We're, we're, all, uh, we're all pretty dedicated to the craft. I'll say that. Uh, everyone's writing and, and contributing equally to this thing. Where do we see it going? You know what? We had the opportunity of Bad Habit to open up for Hogs for Hospice and open up for Our Lady Peace. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we got to open up for Anvil on their start of the North American tour uh, here at Backstage. And 
follow them along down the road, London, whatever. Uh, same with, with Our Lady Peace. And so we want to get back to I the bigger festivals. Yeah, we want to get back to playing the festivals, uh, supporting causes. You know, there's a lot of good that can be done with music and fundraising and that kind of thing. And yeah, that for sure. If you put the D in it, it stands for denomination. So fund raising, you raise funds, but we do it for fun. So we're raising fun. Anyway, yes, that's a good play on words, bro. Yes. Play on words. All right. Uh, where are your, <coughs> sorry, where are your up, upcoming events and how can they find them? Yeah. Where are you playing next? So we have a Facebook page. We're putting together a bunch of promos, of course. Uh, Going to continue with that, you know, kind of drip feeding it to the folks on our Facebook page. Right now we only have Facebook and that's how we intend to market right now on Facebook. Um, of course, one of the best venues in the city here for live independent music, cover songs, whatever. Uh, again, another big proponent of, of music um, is Kenny's place, the backstage, uh, yes. players backstage on Langlois in Windsor here. So there, and then there's a couple places out in Toronto that have invited us to come out. We've sent some uh, demo stuff out there. And we're going to try and get into some different places out there, like the Horseshoe or someplace, uh, you know, right of passage in Canada. <laughs> if you were, I know you opened some, some big bands, if you had your choice, what band would you open up for? The biggest band, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Good question, man. Um, what the ori uh, with original, originals, uh, yeah. original uh, casting would, members or yeah. band members? Band members. Who, would I, who would I open up for? Well, I would, I would probably say... I, I, I would say the Guns N' Roses. Oh, GNR. Yeah, like just to yeah. go and open for those guys. So your your music similar to that twist? Yeah, I would I would say Alter it's kind rock. of in that vein. You know, again, I'll let you hear some stuff, but it might be a little heavier in some areas. But but definitely that would be a fun show to open up for. Or or the Foo Fighters. I think opening for the Foo, Foo Fighters, Fighters would man, be good too. They got that movie Dave, out. Dave, Dave and the Boys. Too. Yeah. yeah. Any last words? Uh, you know what? No, just looking forward to seeing everyone when we when we do finally get out and play. Come out and support us. Uh, you know, we'll have swag and all kinds of good stuff to give away. Fantastic. So thanks, John. I appreciate your time, man. Thanks again Thank for you, playing for my Dippalooza Rock Festival, Indie oh, Rock Festival. Yeah. And thanks for having me at your studio, the MS Metal Studio. Large and in charge over here. Upcoming events uh, tomorrow. I'm hosting a party for a retiree Ty Marion, fi the Fix It guy, and possibly Sunday with uh, Chad Normandu with his uh, without a mic. He's playing actually for uh, what's that place that uh, event going on Monday? Raise the voice or oh uh, Walter Reedy, I think. You Walter Reedy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, raise the voice and. Uh, We'll see we have what he has to say about that and more to come so please like and share my video and subscribe number one